Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this short video, I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked question that let's say in my dataverse, I have file or image as data type. And whenever I am uploading my file or image where that file or image is actually stored, which location is used by dataverse in order to store those files. I'm going to answer this question throughout this short video. Before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The links are in the description box. So without further delay, let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one of the Dataverse table called SQL Sync. Over here I have two columns name and file. File has a data type file and this is the normal text data type. Now as an end user, we always have a question that where my file is being stored and how can I view my file? So let's say, let me just simply go to the data section from here and let me just create a new record over here and let's see how we can upload the file with the out of the box model driven form. Let's say I'm just adding my name over here like taste name and now I just wanted to save this thing. Once you save that, you will be able to see choosing the file from here. Let's upload one file over here. So I am uploading one of the image file over here. And once the file is uploaded, we can simply save this file. So I'm just clicking on save and close. Now, this is something which is redirecting me to my view over here. And this is the same file which we have uploaded over here. But how can I view that file or where that file is actually stored? So let me give you that answer. So whenever you are uploading the file in your Dataverse table, actually behind the scene, it uses Azure blob storage in order to store that file. You won't have access to the storage account directly and must download the file using Dataverse web API. So in short, there is no direct way to download the files from your Azure blob storage. For that, you need to go with the different approaches like you can create a Power Automate flow which will basically download the file for your specific item. For that, I created a dedicated video for the same. But to give you the short answer, the file set we have uploaded into our data, our storage, basically it is using Azure blob storage behind the scene and you can't access that directly. Now, if you wanted to access specific file, you can simply edit your record and once you edit your record, basically it will show that file to you over here. So let's say I open my record and you can see this is the file that we have uploaded. And once you click on that particular file, basically it will download that file for you into your browser machine. But there is no such way where you can see all the uploaded file from your Dataverse entry. So hope now you get a clear idea about this file storage process. So many times I have seen many developers who are struggling with this thing, like they are not able to see the file and all, but Dataverse mechanism is created in a such a way that it using Azure blob storage that can't be directly accessible. Either you can use API or you can use Power Automate flow in order to download that particular file. And for that Power Automate video, the link is available in the description box. You can visit that and check it out. But hope so far you get a clear idea on where Dataverse is actually storing the file. The short answer is, is Azure blob storage. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure to hit subscribe so you will never miss any updates from me. If you wanted to follow me on my other social media handles, all the links are here. And don't forget to subscribe my another channel where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.